with another video today i'm gonna be doing a part two to my sneaker video right now it's like at a thousand seven hundred thousand seven hundred views um so basically i'm gonna just be doing a part two giving you guys a, like a more specific video with a few more tips on it but yeah if you guys enjoy the video drop a like let's get straight into it so the first tip and the main tip from last video as well is go to your local nike store outlet yeah go to your local nike store outlet what you guys want to do is go over there they always have 20 percent off on all their shoes and i'm gonna put you guys on game if you guys go to the apple store right now and download the sneakers app i'm gonna put a video or a picture somewhere around the screen if you guys download that app you're gonna get another 20 percent off so basically in total if you guys use the shoes and the apps um this is gonna be 40 percent of your order so make sure you guys do that so another thing you guys gotta be smart don't use the 40 percent you guys got off on the whole like order use it on a single shoe because it's gonna be less like i don't know how to explain it. it's just gonna be less you're gonna pay less for the shoe basically just buy your shoe go through the process the shoe already has 20 percent off plus the apps 20 percent off that's 40 just buy that shoe if you're gonna buy more than one just buy that shoe do that take the 40 percent off that shoe go back get another shoe get back in line do the same thing it's gonna be way cheaper if you guys do it that way all right, this tip is when you're selling the shoe. So when you guys are selling the shoe, don't sell it on places that are gonna take a fee from you or cut from you, because basically you're losing money, right? So I recommend you guys sell it at like a marketplace like Facebook or Upfrob, where you guys can sell it locally. Make sure if you are gonna sell it, make the customer and pay for the shipping so you don't have to pay for it, so the money doesn't have to come out your pocket. All right, another tip. This is a tip for when you guys are buying shoes like from other people, not like through a website. So when you guys are buying shoes from from somebody else, like a marketplace, like OfferUp or the Facebook marketplace, make sure you guys lowball people. What I mean by this is if the shoe costs, if they're asking 170 for the shoe, say you're gonna give them 110. And from there, you guys can like keep going up and up. Obviously they're gonna keep going up and up because nobody's just gonna give it to you like that. But you're gonna keep going up and up and up until you guys like agree at a point like where you both are comfortable buying and selling the shoe always always lowball people if it's 150 ask them for 100 if it's 180 ask them for 110 115 120 and then from there just agree on where you guys are comfortable on selling the shoe and buying it but yeah that's a good tip you guys need to use when you're buying for somebody else all right another tip from when you guys are buying for somebody else on the marketplace or in person make sure you guys ask for pictures of receipts of where they bought the shoe or just some sort of receipt this is for you guys to know that the shoe is legit to legit check the shoe so you guys don't be wasting 180 dollars on a fake pair of shoe and then when you go to sell it they be telling you oh the shoe is fake you can't sell it we'll do it. so make sure make sure you guys legit check the shoe tell them to send you a receipt or ask for information on where they bought it something to make sure that the shoe is real you feel me all right this is another main tip you guys need to use you guys need to use twitter i'm gonna put in the description a few links to twitter accounts where you guys can follow them and you'll get a notification every time there's a restock on a shoe like the mocha the mocha um uh, air jordan one is getting a restock pretty soon i think already happened i don't know but follow pages where they give you updates on where shoes are restocking or when they are at a discount trust me i've gotten a few pairs of shoes with a big discount just because i'm always like scrolling through twitter refreshing the pages they to be honest you get like 20 notifications a day just of twitter so make sure you guys use twitter to cop some shoes trust me you won't believe what you can find on twitter for real but listen me i'm gonna put the links in the description to these accounts go make a twitter and follow them you guys are gonna be getting notifications and when you do try to click it as fast as possible because people people are on that so yeah that's the other tip all right another thing is never settle for less let's say you're trying to sell a shoe for 150 and then the customer comes you guys meet in person 
they try to lowball you or like make the price a little lower all right so if you paid a good amount for the shoe don't let them lowball you just say this is a firm price you either get it or you don't you can sell it somewhere else you don't have to rush it with the sneaker game you guys gotta take it easy if you're not comfortable with a price that they tell you just say this is the firm price you either have it or you don't and that's it they don't take it it's cool you just sell it to somebody else but never settle for less all right the last tip going back to the outlet sneakers um go to the outlet when i first started i found a few pairs of um, air max 720s i bought like three of them they were going for like 70 dollars and the crazy shit was that i didn't even use the app discount so i would have got them for way cheaper so i bought them for one set i mean i bought them for 70 each three pairs and i sold them for 160 and 150 so please go ahead to the nike outlet find some cool shoes make sure you guys check the price online first before you buy them so you guys don't buy a, a shoe that's like dropped in value and things like that but yeah make sure you check the price before you buy it and shit, just sell it get some money but yeah this been the end of the video if you guys enjoyed the video jump a like and subscribe if you're new but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>